Jack of all trades, master of none. This figure of speech is used in reference to a person who is competent with many skills, but it's not outstanding in any particular one. While I cannot agree with the discouragement of personal growth, many multifunction tools indeed don't perform any one function particularly well. Nonetheless, in photography, there are a few interesting equivalents of a Swiss Army knife, which are well designed to successfully perform more than one task. Specifically, there are a few multifunction camera stabilization systems that combine a monopod or a tripod with a passive gimbalite handle stabilizer, such as a few examples shown here. My story goes like this. During Photokina, I agreed with one of the manufacturers to buy one of the monopods with a stabilizer at the end of a trade show. Unfortunately for me, this company sold the rig to another customer, so I had to search for a different one. Therefore, during the last two days of Photokina, I spent some time looking for a new multifunction rig that includes a stabilizer. And eventually I have found and bought the one I'm going to describe today. Here it is as one handheld stabilizer, or rather, how does it look if you take it apart? The tool is produced by the Guangzhou Expedition Photograph Equipment Company, who <sighs> label Victory Freelander. The company itself produces many types of photographic equipment for other companies under different labels. Let's look at the different components and how they work. A mini tripod. Overall, I choose this rig because of a mini tripod at the bottom of a stabilizer, but can be used separately from the rest. In fact, it is also available for sale as a V5 tripod. The mini tripod is made from aluminium and weighs just a half kilo, or approximately one pound. When it's folded, it is 15 cm long and it fits neatly in my lens case. The mini tripod includes an 8 cm long central column that consists of two parts screwed together, one with a standard one quarter inch tripod screw and tip, and another with a three eight inch nut socket. I usually attach a tripod ball head to the one quarter inch screw with an adapter. But the length of the mini tripod legs can be adjusted and locked in five one of the five positions. The legs pivot can be locked to three work angles or folded backward by one hundred eighty degrees. Each of the legs has a grooved profile that serves for a quarter turn twist G locking mechanism, similar to the one that has been introduced a few years ago by Gitzo. With a single twist of the wrist, one can loosen all five twist locks on the leg at the same time, then pull the leg down and tighten the locks to the middle. Stabilizer. The stabilizer column consists of three telescopic parts, and it is attached to the mini tripod one quarter inch screw. Two extension locks of a stabilizer column are not G-type, as in tripod legs, but have of a half-turn twist lock type. The same type twist lock mechanism is used to adjust the position of a stabilizer gimbal handle. The telescopic post consists of three sections, and the stabilizer handle can be adjusted along its top section, across a range of about 26 cm. The XY positioning of a camera is adjusted by shifting two plates along the internal dovetail guides with a fine-tuned screw drive knobs. Two other knobs with a bullseye spirit level lock the position. The quick release plate at the top includes both a quarter inch and a three eight inch tripod screws, which can slide about 10 cm along the plate. Each of these screws can be removed or used all together, for example, to mount both a camera and a lens with a tripod coloring. Their personal view. All tripods, monopods, and other camera stabilization systems are compromises of a few factors size, cost, and stability. I will also add to this list the usability. I am okay to carry heavier multifunction device um, if each of its components can be used independently, but at the same time, uh, it prov if it provides a decent performance when assembled all together. Considering the above, I am happy overall with a Victory Freelander um, stabilizer, although it is certainly not as stable as either a big leg rock solid tripod or a dedicated active camera stabilizer, as one at the same time does provide a decent camera stability for both static and moving shots. Among two rig parts, the mini tripod perhaps is my favorite, and it is always in my bag. 
The G-Log of extendable legs works fast and smoothly. I really like that each leg of a tripod can be set at variable angles on the centerpiece, and that the tripod can, set, can be set at a very low height. The tripod also provides a decent support for a whole ring, so I don't have to worry about my camera if it remains unattached to an attended tripod. My major personal challenge are the smoothly moving shots, because learning to balance and operate the Glidecam Steadicam type device properly, hmm, it requires plenty of time and practice. I spent a few days trying different approaches to balance the rig, the usual stuff. Setting a proper drop time, the static and dynamic balances, and to find how to operate it smoothly while walking and holding the stabilizer. Fortunately, there are a few options for the adjustment and the balance. Thanks to the fine tuning knobs of the camera positioning, the extendable central stabilizer post, the adjustably gimbaled handle position, and the counterweights, I have found when to minimize the pendulum effect. In other words, to keep footage from looking floaty, I can extend the tripod legs and place counterweights near the rubber tip of the legs. Two counterweights of 100 grams each are provided with the tripod. You can mount them at the top of the camera mounting plate if the camera is too light and the rig is too bottom heavy. Anyhow, this is still a work in progress.